Hi, I'm Zeebless, and this is a tech tip brought to you by Sonic Academy. And today, I'm going to give you a really brief primer on enough music theory to get you into writing chords. So, the general way that I suggest people start when they want to write a, like a chord progression for a track is that they just kind of come up with a bass line. And the bass line itself doesn't have to be all that expressive. It can really be just four notes, one note per bar. So, like, starting on, let's start on an E, because E, why not? And this is being really kind of basic. Neat. Now, there's some knowledge that you need to have about sort of scales and scale degrees. So a scale is pretty, it's a collection of notes that is the, the eight notes that are in a scale, and then scale degrees are the order of those notes. So most of you will know by starting and starting out that all the white notes from C to C are going to be the major scale. So this is a major scale. And so the scale is like, this is C major. And if I take this and I move it around, they're like, hey, that's E major. Neat. But most of the time, the music you're going to be writing is going to be in a minor scale. Now, this white note business actually works for the minor scale, too. As it turns out, A to A is the minor scale on the white keys. So, bam. So here you can see the difference between the major scale and the minor scale. So when someone says the minor three, they're referring to, oh, this is the minor three of the key of E minor. And here's the major three of the key of E major. That, that whole thing. And so that's, you know, the scales. This is a, a handy kind of legend to have over, you know, somewhere if you're not familiar enough with it. So you can just kind of leave them there and be like, I know what the notes are. So now that we have our baseline, what we want to do is we want to create triads. It's like super basic, just kind of a chord to have. And a triad is specifically three notes. In this case, we're going to do a one, three, and five. So one, three, five. Minor triad. Major triad. But in this case, minor, because you can see, bam, it's in the key, E minor. So we want to build a minor triad on all these guys. We treat these as their own little root notes in their own universe. So one, three, five, one, three, five, one, three, five. They might already notice that when I'm playing these, that when I, when I play them, they're not really going to sound right. Unless you want to make 90s house, in which case, awesome, we're done. But the there's a difference is that uh, for every root note in a, in a particular scale, the chord that they're going to make is going to be major or minor. And some of them are different, and there's a lot of rules, and there's a lot of really fun stuff about music theory that will sort of clue you in on more interesting things. But the, an easy enough rule of thumb is just to check, is the note that we're currently in in the key that we're in? So, for example, this guy, not in the key. So we notice how earlier we said that there was the, the, the minor third and the, ma the major third, the major third. So if the minor third didn't work, it's going to be the major third. So if it's not that three, it's the other three. Come on. There we go. And it makes a little bit more sense. Of course, ultimately, if it sounds good, it is good. And if it doesn't sound good, then it's not good. So it's kind of up to you about where you want to do your voices. But this is a wonderful way, wonderful place to start with designing a chord progression for your track. And uh, from here, you can kind of embellish it. You can move around, move voices around. You can add different ones. You can layer it and all that kind of stuff. But like this is, an, a one, this, is a, this is the foundation. And we got here by picking a baseline, making triads, and making things in, in the scale that we want to be in. So yeah, pretty pretty straightforward stuff. This, this could get you pretty far. And like more than this, of which there absolutely is for, you know, music theory and chord writing and whatever can mostly be acquired from just experimentation. And then if you really want to get more curious, then I recommend actually study music theory because boy, does that go places. Anyway, I hope you found this to be valuable. I'm Seamless, and this was the Sonic Academy Tech Tip. Thanks everybody for watching, commenting, and indeed liking. We really do appreciate all the support we get here on our Sonic Academy YouTube channel. So if you find this video super useful, please, We'd love you to hit the subscribe button. We update the uh, YouTube channel every week with new content. And if you want to watch some more relevant content, just click on the videos beside me.